This is the Cougar Football Recap. Brought to you by Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. Second drive of the game, it's third and six. Cougs got a couple sacks on the first drive. Yep. And now we're trying to force another three and out and get Nevada to punt. So it's third down, third and six. In the whole game, the Wolfpack were two for 11 on third down. And here's an example of why. Here's a big reason why. And early in the game, we saw uh, the true freshman quarterback for Nevada making the second start. And one of the things which you want to do with the true freshman quarterback is confuse him and bring pressures and make him see ghosts is what we call it in football to where he thinks something is happening. It's not really happening. So as you see from the sideline here, you're going to see a man structure from our defense. So guys locked up man across the board. So corners are locked up man, corners are locked up man, Jalen Thompson is rolling down, and have man over here, play man over there, and then you're going to have Isaac Dotson blitzing off the edge as your outside contained player. So as we, the, as we get into the, the meat of this, and a big reason why there was a sack, I'm going to go to the, the end zone copy to show it even more here. Now in looking at it, as we move forward, Dotson's going to go and bump back. You're going to roll our defensive line down now. So now this is kind of, this is going back, and I'm not going to get too much into it. This is like a, a 46 bear front, very similar to the, the, the 19, uh, I think it's the 85 Bears. Mike Singletary. Mike Singletary almost, yeah. back here. So we got Woods playing a middle linebacker spot. You got Adi Dotson on the outside. So basically, basically what they're trying to do is go five for five up front. And what Washington State's going to do and what Grinch does with Coach Phelps is he has a stunt up front. So the entire defensive line is going to slant to their, to their left, the offense's right. And what they're going to do is take these gaps – and you're going, to have, you're going to see Frankie Lou within loop on the inside and come around free here. And just a great job of doing their responsibilities, of taking their, their guys. And I want you to watch watch our big boy up front, Daniel Qualley. Even though he does not get credit for the sack here, okay, watch how he takes both of these guys so now Frankie Lou can sneak back around. Now, Frankie doesn't get the sack. It's actually Hercules. And Hercules gets the sack because he works the outside contain. Beats his guy one on one and is, is relentless pursuit on the quarterback. Now, to go into a, a little bit further, the quarterback's looking to the left. He gets spooked by Isaac Dotson here coming off the edge. So now his eyes come back to the right and starts running. That's one of the things that we saw when we watched film, and I know mm -hmm. Alex Grinch saw it early on in the week. Once he, his eyes went to his first rush, his, his first um, progression downfield, if he didn't see that guy and he saw any pressure we call color coming at him, his eyes would go right down to the rush and he would start moving around. And Coach Grinch picked up on that, and he had, drew up a perfect play. Third and five here. It's 14-0. Start of the second quarter. Incredible offensive line blocking. As fast as Tavares is, the big guys show the athleticism running downfield here. He really did. And, and this is a, a full team play right here, and I want to show, show this to you. So we, we've seen screens to the outside before where Luke just goes and gets the ball and throws the ball out there, and it's the receivers blocking. Well, here's a little bit different structure to that. So you're going to see Luke go and fake the, the, the handoff on the inside. The line's going to sell a block or run to the right-hand side and then slip out to the left. And then Tavares is going to push his corner up and then come back underneath for an inside screen. And then the big boys are going to come out there and start wreak, wreaking havoc and escort him to the end zone. So as you, as you see that, nice job from Luke delivering the ball to Tavares. The biggest play right here is getting that corner blocked. And as you can see, Tiller does a great job, and we're going to go to the end zone to, to show you a little bit, a little bit closer on actually what really happened, and Tavares Martin showing what he can do. So as you can see right here, the run fake to the right, and then Dillard going to the left. Cody O'Connell making a nice seal right here. Fred Maligo sealing, and then Dillard coming back in the corner. Flapjack bars open, <laughs> pancake of the day right there from Andre Dillard. And oh, by the way, I don't want to go and understate it, but watch how Tavares pushed this guy on roller skates, whoop, grabbing air, and B.J. Samuelson, hey, hey, come on, buddy, lead me to the end zone, and he does. R running backs going downfield, James Williams trying to get a piece and a block, and it's just too easy for these Cougs. 28-0, it's still first half. Nevada's flirting with the red zone here, yep. and the Coug D just shuts it down. Yeah, like, like Alex Grinch has done from, uh, since the day he got here, this defense will bend but not break. Mm -hmm. And so the Nevada finally gets across the midfield, starting to creep into the red zone, like you said, and now they're going to go in and shut it down. Jalen Thompson had two interceptions on the day. Here's one of them. And as you see the structure, quarterback sees something. He's, going, he's changing the, uh, the, the, the play at the line of scrimmage, 
And what you're going to see is you're going to see a roll to a cover one. Okay, so man free. So you have man down here. You have this safety coming to play man with the slot down here. You have Jahad, Jahad Woods playing man with the running back. Man here, man here, and Jalen Thompson, he's your free safety, right? So you're man free. That's the main thing, uh, and that's why it's called that. So he's going to play center field, and he's going to go back there and try to read the quarterback's eyes. So as he gets back to center field, he sees and opens up his hips really quickly back to the other side because he sees the quarterback's eyes and his posture starting to throw that way. So he gets a beat on it, and the reason why he's trying to hurry is because of pressure underneath here from, uh, from Hanser. So serves it up, gets hit, can't follow through. Jalen Thompson makes a great interception in the end zone to prevent another score and, and preserve that goose egg. But I want to show you from the backside here on the end zone cam what, what really took place. So you have Tago on your left-hand side. You got McBroom at center. You got Begg right here, and you have Dylan Hanser. So you're going to get a slant from the line going to the left. And with that slant, Dylan Hanser just beats his man one-on-one -on -one right there, shoots hard. Dotson's coming around for outside contain, and as you're seeing him, beat an inside, and it's going to get a beat on that quarterback, get a hit on the quarterback, pressure on the quarterback, creates a, a, a shortly thrown football, and Jalen Thompson right there for the taking. Great job from the defense. Grinch talks about it. You want takeaways, multiple takeaways, 14-3. and three. Now he's 15-3. and three. And how about go back just real quick here. Was Marcus Strong back in the end zone there? If you go here and pause it, hands are off the side, but then Dotson, Jihad Woods, McBroom, Tago. Those names weren't even there two years ago. A couple no. of those guys were, but not necessarily even in those positions. Dotson wasn't a part of the depth of this program. No, and that's exactly to your point. And this game was really nice to see all these guys play and get significant playing time. When the game was in, it was valuable. It was a short, a, 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 um, short score game early on, and you had these had had these guys come out there and, and make plays when plays needed to be made. And that's uh, one of the things that you like to see is building your depth on your defense. This has been the Cougar Football Recap, brought to you by Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer.